we are talking about dilation and we want to draw dilations in the coordinate plane. So here we have example two and it says, find the image of the polygon with the given vertices after dilation centered at the origin with the given scale factor. So the first example here, we're given a scale factor of two. And first thing I want to do is plot the pre-image. So J is 2, 4, so over 2, up 4. And that's going to be J. And then we have K is 4, 4. And then we have P is 3, 2. And I'm going to draw the line between those. Now, in this one, I'm going to draw the lines that go through the vertices and then I'm going to count. Now all I have to do is count. So it's scale factor two, so everything has to be doubled. So there's two ways you can do it. You can say, I'm gonna go over three, up two. Okay, so what is three doubled? Three doubled would be six, and then go up two. Uh, two doubled would be four, so over six, up four. And we can see right there, we have point P prime. And then K, the other thing we can do is we can say over four, up four, over four, up four. So you can do it either way. You can kind of treat it like a slope and count it. That's going to be K prime. Or you can count how to get there, double it, and then just go the full distance. So over two, up four, over two, up four, and then that's gonna be J prime. And we'll connect those dots. Then we can check if we did it right. Uh, the distance from J prime to K prime is four. And the distance from J to K is two. So this absolutely is doubled. Uh, then, then we have an example where we're given a scale factor of three halves. And so for this one, uh, I'm not going to draw my line. I'm going to show how to do this just by simply doing the multiplication. So the points of D is negative two comma zero. We have G is zero comma two. And we have F is two comma negative two. So basically we just take all of the pieces and we get negative two times three halves and 
zero times three halves. So in this case, the two, negative two and two cancel, so we're left with negative three and zero times anything is zero. So d prime is at negative three, zero. So negative three, zero. I guess we should have drawn uh, the pre-image first. So negative two, zero, zero, two, and f is two, negative two. So this one was D, this one was G, and this one was F. And then we get to do the same thing for G. We take the coordinate of X and the coordinate of Y, and we multiply them both by 3 over 2. Again. Zero times anything is zero. And the two and the two cancel and we're left with just three. So we have uh, zero, three. And that's going to be G prime. And this was D prime. And then the last, we have our X value and our Y value. And we're going to multiply by three over two. Again, our twos cancel, and we're left with three comma three. So over three. Oh, that should have been a negative two. I wrote wrote it down wrong. So this should be negative two. So this should be negative three. And that's going to be f prime. And then I'm going to connect the dots. And so that's the two different ways you can do it. You can draw the lines through, draw the lines through the given vertices and then count similar to like a slope, or you can multiply the given coordinates by the scale factor, get your new coordinates, and then plot those.